Hello my friends, it's Dan Gregory here and in today's video I'm going to talk about four powerful questions that can help with your prospecting. So in this video I'm going to be talking about four powerful questions to help your prospecting. Uh, let me just give you a bit of background about where I picked these up from. So I was engaged in a conversation with a mentor who shared these uh, questions with me and I'm really pleased to say that you know I'm very fortunate to have some great mentors in this business uh, and I would suggest that you know within your organization or outside your organization it's extremely powerful to have really really strong mentors uh, and if you can get yourself around these kind of people they can really help your business grow uh, and that, that works for any area of life. So the four questions and these really work where you've already got a connection with someone or you've already built a relationship or you're already some way into a conversation and you, and you bring up the issue of uh, whether someone is happy so in a certain area of their life. So number, number one, question number one is, are you happy? Are you happy with your business? Are you happy with your health? Uh, and then the second question is, once they've responded, is what do you mean? It's a clarification question. Uh, you know, most people are probably going to say yes or no or give some brief answer. So by asking what do you mean, they're going to get more specific about actually what the challenges are and the problems they face and why they are or not ha they are happy or why they're not happy. Um, and, and most people are going to bring up uh, one or two problems that prevent them from being happy in a particular area. Uh, it's a tendency for most people to actually dwell on the things that they're least happy about rather than the things they're happy about. So by asking those two questions, are you happy about X? Are you happy about your business? Are you happy about your career? Are you happy about your job? Are you happy about your health? And then clarifying it by asking, what do you mean? Now, the third question is, do you have a plan to resolve those issues? Or do you have a plan to, to make a change? Uh, and by asking that question, uh, you'll identify whether they do. And actually, 97% of people in life uh, will have problems, uh, but they won't have a plan to, to address those problems. So by asking, do they have a plan, you know, you're going to make people self-realize that actually, although they've identified these issues, they don't actually have necessarily a solution to those problems. And the fourth and most important question is, I have a plan that could help you with that. Are you open to find out more about it? So, I have a plan that could help you with that. Are you open to find out more about this, about what I've got to offer? Uh, and, and most people will probably ask, you know, what is it? Uh, and the important thing is here is to... Be very clear, this is very important, um, because we're coming from a business opportunity point of view, the response is really critical. So we say, the business may not be a fit for you, but I think that you'll love the product. I think you'll love the product. The business may not be a fit for you, but I think you'll love the product. So one of the two things is gonna happen here, someone will either say, actually I do want the business, they're gonna tell you about it, or they may ask you, why do you, why do you think the business isn't for me? And at which point you could say, well, you know, not everyone wants to start a lifestyle business. Not everyone wants to work from home. Not everybody wants to have, um, not everyone wants to become an entrepreneur. You know, we all use doctors, but we don't necessarily all become doctors. So it's not a case of not willing or wanting or believing they can do it. It's more of a case of actually, well, most people don't actually want to start a business. So the business may not be a fit for you. But at that point, they're either going to identify themselves as someone who would want to be a involved in the business, in which case you provide them the resources necessary to, to proceed with that conversation. Um, but you proceed on the fact that, you know, I think the product you'll love. So you can then provide them the information about the product. So four very powerful questions to identify um, prospects from conversations that people you've connected with. So these four questions are really powerful and you can use them in any network marketing business. But remember, this business may not be a fit for you, but I think you'll love the product. This business may not be a fit for you, but everyone loves to travel. This business may not be a fit for you, but everyone wants to be healthier. This business may not be a fit for you, but most people want to lose weight. You know, so it's really planting the seed that uh, it might not be for them, in which case it really lifts the pressure from them in terms of the evaluation of, could I do something what, like what you're doing? Am I capable of doing this? It lifts that pressure. But people will, if they want to do it, they will identify that for you. Uh, and it also takes off the pressure from you in terms of trying to you know, push people into making decisions about things that you know, may not be right for them. So hopefully that's been useful. Uh, if you find that useful, please do share with your teams. Please comment. I really appreciate comments that I get from the videos. Thank you for watching.